flying these days is most unglamorous, and even more so with the latest must-have accessory, the face mask. It's a far cry from the high-class flying people experienced during the 60s and 70s. Luckily, there is a way to rekindle the golden age of those flying days. Ladies and gentlemen, let's board our first-class flight to anywhere and experience firsthand why you should always fly first-class. Welcome to Alux.com the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Number 1. You arrive well-rested and refreshed Have you ever waited to pick someone up from the airport and watched the people leaving the luggage collection spot? There's a stark difference between those that flew first class and those who didn't. First class flyers look like they've had a great night's sleep and are ready to tackle whatever the world throws at them. Economy passengers look shattered, rumpled, red-eyed, and majorly irritated. Tantrums are being thrown and not by children, and you know it's going to take a day or two before they feel a semblance of their former selves. Hey Luxers, not enough can be said about arriving at your destination feeling awake. It means you can start your vacation immediately and not waste any time trying to catch up on sleep. Many first-class beds will rival the best hotels, and some even offer double beds, so joining the Mile High Club would be a far more enjoyable and manageable experience. So be sure to make use of your Do Not Disturb sign. Number 2. Dealing with low-budget flyers is not your problem we're certain you have a story or two to share with us about truly awful passengers you've had to deal with on a flight. But fly first class and you don't need to worry about crying babies, kids running up and down the aisles, people getting it on right next to you, dirty toes poking through the gap in your seat, movie screens not working, long hair being flipped over your screen, and the most annoying, someone flipping their seat back so far your laptop is officially poked. We can go on and on, Alexers, but we'd rather hear about your experiences a bit later. Oh, and on a side note, just because someone can afford to fly first class doesn't necessarily mean they'll behave any better. For example, Gerard Depardieu consumed several bottles of wine on a flight, and when flight attendants told him he'd have to wait to use the bathroom, he tried to urinate into an empty wine bottle. And Conrad Hilton had a boozy walk up and down economy class one year, calling everyone peasants. The difference is these situations are just less likely to happen in first class. Number 3. You board and disembark first when you fly first class, you're treated first class. That means you're first to board the plane, which you don't mind because you're stepping onto luxury and the first to disembark. It's all a part of the first class experience. Boarding early gives first class passengers a calm environment to stow away their luggage properly, have something to eat and drink whilst waiting to get themselves settled before the peasants board for the flight. Aluxers, you know how it goes when you're boarding. You're standing in the narrow aisle, desperate to find your seat. People squeezing past you, smacking you in the face with their luggage. They're sitting in the wrong seats. They've taken your window seat. There's all kinds of stress there, which you can avoid in first class. Disembarking first is another great reason to fly first class, because you land yourself at Immigrations and Customs before other passengers, saving you a lot of time. And another bonus, many first class and business class passengers get their luggage stored in a separate hold, so it's unloaded first. As American golfer Raymond Floyd said, if you travel first class, you think first class, and you're more likely to play first class. Number 4. Bathrooms are more spacious We can list a fair amount of issues you could encounter in lavatories on planes. Foul odors, wet floors, we sincerely hope it's just water, the terrible smelling hand soap, the severe lack of space. Flying first class ensures you have a game-changing bathroom experience. You get high-end amenities like gorgeous creams, high-quality hand soap, perfumes, shaving cream, the works. Many first-class bathrooms have a shower. They're luxuriously fitted. They've got TP that doesn't scratch your nether regions and individual hand towels. But of course, these are all airline-specific, with some having more offers than others. Watch our video, The Top 10 Most Expensive Private Jets in the World 2020, to see some more sky-high opulence. Number 5. You can actually get some work done. Alexers, in first class, it's so much easier to get a little work done. 
The obvious is you have far more space to set up your workstation. Have you ever dropped a mouse on the floor while flying in economy? We can assure you it's not something you'd like to do twice. You can gain stress-free productivity time while working in first class. Even more than you would at home because your every need is catered for. Water, still or sparkling? Slice of lemon or cucumber? Coffee, tea, snack? Anything you need is brought right to you, leaving you free to work uninterrupted. Number 6. Networking is a breeze American comedian Dov Davidoff once said, Flying first class means sitting next to a better class person I don't want to talk to. Luckily, not everyone flying in first class has this outlook, and there'll be more opportunity to meet the right contacts in first class than economy. Unless the person flying in first class got given a free ticket or was upgraded, it's fair to say that passenger bought their own ticket or the company paid for it. Either way, the person is successful. Another great place to meet people and network is the airport lounges and waiting areas before the flight, and we can guarantee that when you'll fly first class, even these are fantastic as we'll explore next. Number 7. You have access to the first class lounges. Hey Luxers, if you think that most standard lounges at airports offer Wi-Fi, comfortable seats, workstations, drinks, snacks, and reading material, can you just imagine what the first class lounges offer? Expect shower rooms and wellness facilities. For example, Cathay Pacific have a meditation and yoga room at their Pier Lounge in Hong Kong. Many have a range of complimentary spa treatments available, places to have a small power nap, gyms, private restaurants, cigar bars, jacuzzis, entire private bedrooms which you need to book beforehand, and sprawling views of the runway while you sip your champagne cocktail networking. Each airline has their own special offering, like chauffeur pickups and collections from Air France, or the experience you'll have at Etihad Residence Lounge at Abu Dhabi Airport, where the butler does everything for you, including your check-in. And he's all yours until you get your next butler when you board your flight. Number 8. Your meals will be recognizable and you won't have to pay for beverages. These days, many flights make you pay for everything. There's no such thing as a free bag of peanuts or a juice box, and the price of everything is sky high. When it comes to mealtime, you won't be asked chicken or beef, and you'll certainly recognize the meal you're being served. You won't be seated next to someone cramming the dinner roll into their purse or the yogurt into their carry-on, and you'll not be eating with plastic cutlery and out of styrofoam containers. So what kind of dining experience can you expect on your first class flight? A fine dining experience is yours when flying first class. Many airlines have their iconic dishes or have a celebrity chef creating the menu. Here are just some of the delectable meals you can experience on first class. Cathay Pacific Mandarin Oriental Roast Chicken. Each month, they have an executive chef to prepare their first-class menu, and this is an example of one month's meal. Roasted chicken breast with braised cannellini beans, chantrellas, and lemon confit. Virgin Atlantic Upper Class Afternoon Tea Here, you'll be treated like royalty when you enjoy a proper English tea. This includes cucumber sandwiches, little cakes, scones, jam and clotted cream, and proper English tea. Hawaiian Airlines First Class Beef Car Car, a meal you would expect from a five-star restaurant, served 30,000 feet in the air. This was actually one of the first-class menu items on Hawaiian Airlines. An oxtail stew with tripe and pork legs simmered in a cashew sauce with asparagus, roasted potatoes, and carrot. Number 10. Extra Legroom it's a squash and squeeze when you fly economy today, vastly different now from how it was in the 1920s and 1930s. Then, seats were simply wicker chairs and thereafter made from aluminum. Seat pitch, or the space from the back of one seat to the seat in front of it, is roughly 35 inches and some airlines have a mere 28 inches. In first class, this is not something you'll need to concern yourself with because you'll have all the leg room you'll need to be comfortable your entire flight. Lufthansa's first-class seats have a pitch of 90 inches, and their seats are 31 inches in width. JAL has 33-inch seats, with their pitch at 78.5 inches, and the first-class seats on an Air France A380-800 are quite big at 38 inches and a pitch at an impressive 81 inches. I guess size does matter after all. Number 10. You get treated exceptionally well. 
Hey Luxers, you don't need to be a celebrity to be treated like one in first class. Author Sarah Kate Lynch summed it up perfectly when she said, The best thing about flying in first class was that you could be as nutty as a fruitcake and would still be treated like Queen of Sheba. Flying first class means you get more individualized attention. Flight attendants ensure you don't just fly from point A to point B, but the entire trip is an experience of luxury, fine dining, and relaxation. You're referred to as Mr. or Mrs. So-and-so, and your every need is taken care of. So, Aluxers, see you on board your next flight. You can find us in first class. Where will you be? And with that, we're at the end. Have you ever flown in first class yourself? What was the experience like for you? We love hearing your input in the comments, Aluxers, so get in touch. Now, since you stuck with us until the end, here's that bonus you've been waiting for. The best part about flying in first class? Larger baggage allowance. You won't need to sit on your suitcase and try and squash in your clothing. You won't need to wear a million layers and try to smuggle more clothes on that way. And you won't need to pretend your carry-on luggage weighs nothing when, in fact, it's loaded to the brim as well. Depending on your airline, some first-class passengers are allowed up to three bags of luggage. So it's time to buy that beautiful luggage set you've been eyeing up and get to picking your next destination. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.